Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. I am super duper excited. I have a very special guest joining me today. Oh my gosh. All right, I can't even keep it to myself anymore. All right, come over here. This is my son, JR. <laughs> Say hi. Oh. Um, I have had so many people um, ask me questions about my kids and about how my kids reacted to the divorce, how they dealt with the narcissist, the abuse, just one question after another. And I, I can't speak for them. JR has graciously agreed to join me in this video. I'm super excited that he's here with me. Uh, I need to remind everybody, for those of you who don't know, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in other videos, but I do want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. The, my ex, is not JR's biological father. Um, of I, 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 had, I had two other children that were biologically um, his and JR's uh, not, but um, was raised by him from the time that he was a year old. Um, his upbringing was totally with him and um, he was there for all of it, witnessed all of it, and dealt with all of it just like the rest of us. One of the questions that I often get is, how did the divorce affect my kids? A lot of people will ask me, um, because many of the women that reach out to me are, or were, are, were in my position where my, my marriage was very long, it was 24 years. And so they'll say, you know, are you sorry you didn't leave sooner? You know, how did it affect your children? Do you think you would have been better off if they, if you would have left sooner? He's here to answer that for us and we'll get to hear it straight from him. Do you think things would have been different if I would have left sooner or, you know, I don't know, just whatever. What do you think? Um, I mean, the obvious answer is yeah, that'd have been different if you'd left sooner. Uh, you know, everything happens for a reason though. Um, you know, people, people do things for reasons that at the time they may not know why they had done it or what their motivation, their drive was, and they don't realize it until after the fact. I think just speaking from personal experience and only for myself at least, yeah, it would have been different, but I don't know that that just juts out a million different ways as far as how different it could have been. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to interrupt your thought. What's up? Do you think that you were better equipped to deal with a divorce when you were older? Do you think it would have been more confusing if you were younger? I mean, you saw a lot of what went on between us. You actually broke up physical fights. I was fights just, just going like to say, that. you know, I saw a lot more. You know, being the oldest, I saw a lot more as I grew up. But as far as easy goes, I don't know if it would have been easier. Well, to deal with but as far as processing goes i think older i think doing it while you know was while i was older the young man probably made it a bit easier that it uh i think it made it easier to to process and deal with being older i think as a kid it would have been confusing and it would have been definitely harder to understand you know so four years ago so you know i was 24 when it happened you know i just kind of started getting the cusp of going from a kid to an adult so that was confusing as well so you know it's hard to say how things would have turned out you know one way or the other um everyone's different i mean i know there are some guys that i grew up with you know whose parents were you know divorced split apart uh separated however and you know some of them dealt with it one way others dealt with it another way didn't really know too many guys in my situation you know there weren't a lot of guys that were you know 24 25 you know, whose parents were splitting up. I mean, that kind of happened to a lot of kids, a lot of you know, kids, you know, when they were younger. For me, anyway, I can say that it was definitely confusing. Um, you know, I kind of grew up my whole life, you know, mom and dad separated, you know, hard times, bad times, you know, still together. And then just overnight, you know, that was it. And that's not <laughs> you. That was pretty much how it happened, though. Yeah, it, I mean, it really it, was. It did. It was just, you know, I remember, you know, the timeline, it was mom and dad are having some trouble, about a week went by, and then I think the day after, I think it was my brother that had said it, or he had texted me to it or something, and he was asking me questions, and he was like, yeah, they're having a hard time right now, they're dealing with something. The next day, it was just, yeah, she moved out. And there was definitely a little bit of a process in there where it was like shocking, like, oh, 
that happened, okay. And then it took a little while, you know, years down the road, you know, here we are, you know, fast forward from that and it's like, you know, they're all, you know, everybody's kind of better off in their own way right now. He's doing his own thing, she's doing her own thing right now. You know, it's about, you know, life's about growth. You know, myself, I've grown differently from it. You know, she's growing from it. You know, he, you know, even my dad, he's grown from it. They're doing their own things. And, you know, objectively from the kid, the child standpoint, you know, it's, it's hard to deal with, but you know, you love your parents. Um, we all may not have gotten along at the best at some points, but at the end of the day, you know, you just want the best for them and you want the best for pretty much everybody heading forward. And right now that's kind of happening, but it definitely was hard. I say what I just said about, you know, I want the best for everybody because there was a point where, you know, I was angry with her, I was angry with him, I was angry with everybody. You know, it's a process. You deal with it in your own way, on your own timeline, and however you deal with it. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things you will never know the answer. You'll never know how you'll deal with it. You'll never know how it felt until you get further down the road. It's hard to try to be in the middle of that situation and go, how do I feel about this? How is it affecting me now? It's a, you know, it's, it's hard to, yeah, it's hard to look at it right then. But, you know, you look back on it and it's like, Okay, yeah, I was pretty upset. Yeah, I was really bummed out. Personally, uh, it had affected me uh, in a relationship that I was in when it was happening, and that that made it harder for the both of us, uh, for my ex and myself. But I've definitely taken some lessons from that. I've grown from it, I think, for the better. I think, like I said, think, who knows? Yes. Still, still working on it. I but, think we all have. Yeah. And that's, I've talked about that in other videos, how... We went through like all these awful growing pains when I left. Like you said, you know, it's like everybody was kind of mad and there was all these, because there's all these feelings that you you don't know because you've always been this family unit and then you're not. Uh -huh. So it's like, how do you, you don't even know how to not be a family as dysfunctional as it was, we were a family. So you don't, it's all new to you and there's all these, you know, bad feelings and, and, and anger and just stuff, but you grow through it and you develop a different relationship and a different yeah. family dynamic, you know, that whole issue of family. And I, and I talk about that in, in a lot of my videos, how I, it, it was devastating for me to think, oh, we're not going to be together as a family. And um, we had a lot of talks about that. And we started spending holidays together and whatnot. And John gets along with JR really well. And, you know, we, we do a lot of things together and it's all great now. There was all that growing time that we had to get through and all that, you know, weird new stuff. Um, and, and another question that I get a lot too, we all dealt with his abusiveness in one way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. All of us dealt with his abusiveness over the years, putting us down, so on and so forth. You know, I don't have to go into all that because everybody watching knows exactly what a narcissist is like. And something um, that I, a question that I get a lot is, are, do you think your kids are angry with you for staying, you know, for not like getting them out of that, you know, sooner? I mean, because when I left, JR has his own home and he was already living on his own in his own home. So he was in a different place. It was still affecting him though. <laughs> no doubt about it. It was still affecting him. I, I do get that question. You know, are, are my kids going to be mad at me for staying or for not leaving sooner um, or whatever, you know? For the record, I can only speak for myself, so I'll say that I'm not. Uh, I think that'd kind of be a selfish thing for me anyway to kind of look at somebody. I mean, even as a kid, um, not really knowing the ins and outs of relationships and all that. I mean, yeah, it sucked when... It sucked a lot when you know certain things were going on you know kind of getting dealing with what I had to deal with and you know it wasn't it wasn't all bad you know that's a disclaimer there you know as the kid you know love your parents it wasn't all bad but you know the times that it was you know knowing that he wasn't my biological father there was never times where I was mad at you for that um even if he was um I don't think I could have been mad I mean are you gonna be mad at somebody for trying to do something that you know they swore they would do you know they would try to honor a commitment they made you can't be mad at somebody for that i mean yeah it can suck and you'll be irritated <laughs> but you can't be mad at somebody for that i mean 
that's and that that's, yeah and that's exactly what kept me there I, I've talked about that in other videos I would be upset and I would be angry and he would hurt my feelings and and we'd go you know the whole vicious cycle you know the fighting and then blah 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 and and in the back of my mind all I heard was honor and obey honor and obey honor and obey and mm -hmm. John and I did a video on that entire um, section you know that bit of the Bible and how there's way more to it than that but that's what always went through my mind and so I appreciate you recognizing that I was trying to honor that commitment yeah. and you see it that way so yeah I mean you know cool. just you know it's kind of that you know the hometown morals and all I mean you grew up in a small town you know there were families that were split there were families that were going through tough times and luckily for us you know we didn't have that we didn't have to worry about that everybody had their problems but ours you know, were just hidden <laughs> but we hung tight you know we did hang tight you know when it when it counted anyway i will say that when it counted but like i said i can't hold it against you for you know trying to hold it together i mean that's and that's exactly what it was trying to hold it together for what we had what we wanted you know nobody wanted this nobody wanted to move forward and have you know everything fall off at the wheels as it did or you know however you want to word it nobody wants that situation well i can't say that because there's some pretty miserable people out there but that definitely wasn't us <laughs> who want to be miserable <laughs> we're past that yeah <laughs> we like being happy <laughs> right it's half of hollywood i mean you know that's just how they are you know but there are people that you know they want to have you know that type of you know that type of angst in their life they, that's they, they used the to. drama yeah but you know that wasn't us you know, I don't know many people like that, thank God. But we're we're pretty much drama free now. For the most part, I mean Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Very much so. No, we totally are totally normal. So Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for being here and for sharing yeah. that and for um answering a lot of questions. I know that um it really means a lot to some some of my followers to hear from you because even if even if you said well you know you can tell your followers this that and the other thing hearing it from you is huge right. I, I've just gotten so many inquiries about it I felt like it was important and I'm really really glad that he came to share today so thanks for watching ciao for now